Hello. Hi. Well, welcome to Cliff Alert. Today we're going to be talking about Own Network's reality-based TV series, Put a Ring on It. Season 3, episode number 7. And today we will be focusing on Shay and Alfonso. Yeah. But before we get into it, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and sending us your comments. We appreciate you. Sure enough. So we begin with Shay and, and Fonzo. Fonzo having a conversation at the in their home she tells us that she's putting her counseling hat on the coach's hat her on. coach's hat on to coach fonzo as it relates to what they're doing and how they're doing it and how they can proceed with their families in order to make things possible for them to reconnect and and put a ring on it ring and for, it, for Shay to stay because Shay is threatening now that she can she can easy peasy walk away yeah and, and I don't know I don't know how he feels about being given an ultimatum mm -hmm. uh, that being Fonzo but most guys don't react or respond very well to that but that's that's separate and aside from from the issue because as far as I'm concerned He's got a whole lot to kind of account for as it relates to how he's been moving that has brought things in part to where they are now between the two of them. Right, and as Shea specifically is uh, wants some sort of movement as it relates to Fonzo's family and her reintroduction to the family and particularly his relationship with the mother of his children, his ex-girlfriend. A lot of unresolved things that need to be addressed there. Isn't it? Right, and she said something interesting. She said that his mother thinks the way she thinks because of Alfonso allows her to think like that. What? Which the does hell? not does that make any sense I, i'm scratching y'all i'm scratching my point and man. she's saying I don't that y'all that um alfonso needs to govern and check the way his mother thinks i i i don't know about the coaching session that alfonso had with shay <laughs> but what i do know is now we're seeing that alfonso is thinking stuff through and he's telling us that he is going to be lost if he loses Shay and he needs to step up his game and try to get her what she's been asking for. Uh, I think behind the sugar honey iced tea eating grins that, that Alfonso has become known for in terms of reaction and or responses to things that are uncomfortable for him to deal with. Mm -hmm. The reality is starting to sink in that, hey, look, this is starting to get serious now. Yeah, he did admit when he was met with Dr. Nicole at their home that his laughter um, is, is a, a, a coping mechanism yeah. so he doesn't get angry yeah. because he, he gets out of himself when he gets angry. So Dr. Nicole sat down with him and they discussed how he's going to approach the blending the families together, reintroducing Shane to his mom, mm -hmm. to his ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. having some sort of realistic <laughs> expectation about how this is going to happen, what it's going to look like when it happens. And, and having some very clear boundaries yes. about how... You know people at how they will be operating within those boundaries to keep things peaceful right because one of the things that Alfonso admitted is that his ex still is of the belief that they can have a relationship with one another and Alfonso told Dr. Nicole that when he ended his relationship with his ex he never tied stuff down he never said to her that used to be together but now i'm moving in another direction and i now have someone else to love he never did that at any time neither did he have a really accurate conversation with his mother to let her as well know that she is now his new love because i guarantee you that if his ex still is of the belief that they have possibly have a relationship 
his mother also feels like that. Right, and then that conversation had to happen. And that conversation has to happen mm -hmm. because he needs to come up with the right language. Right. He, it's like he sidestepped, or transitioned rather, not sidestepped, but transitioned from one one relation to, with, to the other without realizing that, you know, these are not pawns, these are people. People, right. And he needed to set clear boundaries saying that, okay, our relationship yes. is now going to change into something yes. else. Yes, You're no longer my, dynamics, my, right? my woman. Right. You're the mother of my child right. because I've moved my affections and attention elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yes, and indeed. And we gotta, we got to communicate and live in peace and harmony with each other. Right, because so that part of it's not going to change, right? That's not going to change. Yes, He yes. did not sit her down right, and, and have let that him know conversation, that. Right. And Dr. Nicole tried to give him a framework of a script that he could probably uh, use to tell his ex-girlfriend he loved her. He, She was valuable to him when they were together. She was valuable to him when they had their son and she's that value has is still there but now it has changed into something else which would then allow him to have a whole and cohesive relationship with she without outside um intervention from his his mom or his ex yeah dr nicole said said it uh, i think in, in such a way where she said that you know, change, change dynamics does not determine one's value. Right. And and I, I thought that was well said. It was. On, it on was. Her, on her Alfonso, he said, oh, I like that. That that thinking that that was a game kind of yeah, language. Yeah, kind of play of a, But yeah, rather yeah. it the language, the conversation of a grown man speaking to the mother of his child yep. and introducing the new woman that he has relationship it's with. It's like she had to get him to realize that that's not, it's not player vibe or player Yeah, player she had to say this is grown, grown this man, grown man, man talk, you know, conversation. Why is it that you don't realize And he, d he didn't know that, and that's telling. It is very revealing. Man. We later see Shay meeting up with Elena and Shorty at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. They go girl girl night talk. out. Girl talk, yeah. They're having some shots and having dinner. And Shay is giving her two cents to the ladies about her opinion on their relationship. <laughs> and Shay says in the <laughs> confessionals that she doesn't understand why Charlena um, has to be so strong in what she's trying to get Otis to do and it's not necessary and I would just wish that she would focus on herself her damn self because that two cents was really about what a half a cent maybe because the bottom line is Shay has uh, has made it very clear and not only uh, what she said but also her not only some in some ways appropriate but in many ways inappropriate actions out in public about right. all the issues that she's having to deal with as it relates to her own relationship with Fonzo, but, but, which has been on a roller, but, it's been a roller coaster ride. But what I find remarkable is that we have heard a lot about Shay through this process and Alfonso uh, as a, a side to Shay's behavior. Yeah. But Dr. Nicole told Alfonso that he needs to start speaking up regarding his truth mm -hmm. and what he would want Shay to become yeah. because we know from the gate what Shay wants yeah. and Shay's entire focus is on Alfonso but, uh, but for Alfonso needs to step up and say what are his boundaries what are his and this relationship yeah I, I think that that's that's an aspect that he really needs to take a, a more assertive approach to executing so that Shay is clear about what message is being sent by Fonzo right. in terms of and the consequences you know, right. of if she falls outside right. of right. that what will happen right and I, uh, you know and I also think that uh, Shay has come to the point where she is finally accepting the notion that she has no control over Fonzo like she you know as 
try to do in episodes prior to this one. Yeah, but I'm still not convinced Shay is there. She her focus not, is away. still on Alfonso. Yes. Shay is not checking for the nonsense that she does, the toxic behavior that she has been dealing with. Right. Her only focus is Alfonso. Yeah. And I think she needs to take the time to say, Dr. Nicole, let's deal with me with them. And you know what? Uh, even even to the point where she has to come to a, some level of understanding of what Dr. Nicole had to remind her about what her what her status is with Fonzo in the first place. She, cause she in her own mind, she's made it clear. Right. She thinks that she's his spouse, and she ain't. She got yeah. she got a different tape playing. Right, in her head. And I think that although she mm -hmm. thinks that she has arrived, she can coach people, she too needs some sort of clarification or clarity about how she is showing up to Alfonso. Because if she's showing up toxic with Alfonso, she has shown up toxic with his mother. She has shown up toxic with his ex. Yes. And yes. you know, any kind of woman trying to get next to Alfonso sets her off. Right. Which which would which easily explains how she could could get toxic with a total stranger in the in the form of Tayshia. Absolutely. Reed. So we shall see what will unfold. Chase is acting like she knows what she's doing now, and she knows that she has the. The opportunity to leave she got that permission to leave and she feels um you know empowered by it yeah but let's just see what will unfold. and she and, and in fact she actually um, reiterated that in there when they got together at the end of the episode for the group in the group uh counseling session mm -hmm. she reiterated that to to not only dr nicole but and also to you know alfonso we want to thank you for uh, joining us on this discussion. Yeah, thanks for rocking with us, y'all. Really, we appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye.